Hi everyone, welcome back. You're watching Brian's channel for technology, learning, and education. In this video, you're gonna learn about a really interesting open source project called Qvert. So before getting into Qvert, here's a little Cloud 101. When people normally think about cloud, they think about virtual machine, VM, that was originally the cloud at the first time. But then as a cloud technology progressed, we have something called container now, like a Docker container, Podman container. Co container became the lightweight application runtime environment to run applications. Then Kubernetes came in, which became become the orchestration platform for the containers. So when people think about Kubernetes, they normally think about container and the container management. But now this is where the Qvert came in. Qvert is allows to run both container and virtual machine on top of a Kubernetes platform. Pretty interesting, right? Well, question is though, why would you need it? So one really big application use cases is that you, when we want to migrate legacy monolithic application to Kubernetes. So when you think about, hey, this application are still in like a non microservices monolithic application, you want to migrate to microservices in cloud native application on Kubernetes. It's pretty hard, a lot of refactoring is required. So, but this is where like, you, know, you can put this application it is on, on through the, to the VM provisioned by Kubernetes through Qvert, and then you can slowly migrate to, to the like a container environment. This is one use case. And then now we have a lot of application learning like heavy demand, like LDAP, Active Directory application, tokenization application, and there are like GPU intensive heavy application in general. Those application are very fit for virtual machine but while you can still lose the cloud native application and same Kubernetes platform, they can leverage the same network policy, security policy, but those applications, some applications still be better to live in in um, virtual machine environment, but you can always like, use it both in the same Kubernetes environment. That's pretty cool. And another interesting use case is that learning Kubernetes inside of Kubernetes. So there you provision virtual machine through Qvert, which is inside the Kubernetes platform. But inside the VM, you can create another Kubernetes platform. That's pretty cool, right? These are some of the use, interesting use cases, but there are possibly more to that. And here are some interesting Qvert facts. It's an open source license with the Apache license 2.0. So it's open source, free to use, free to modify and things like that. And it was created by Red Hat engineers first time. And it's for the learning most Kubernetes platform, but it's recommended to learn on bare metal. The first CTO is a command line interface to interact with the virtual machine. So the official website for Qvert is qvert.io. You can find a lot of information here. You can see that there are Qvert support to a number of different platforms, not just the mini Qv, as you're seeing in this video. There are a lot of documentation. In this video, we will cover just a brief of what it offers, but it's just that we are going to use mini Qv on this video, but you can also explore other cloud platform and production and testing environment. So this is really going to be a helpful website explore. So before you start following this video, I'm going to make some assumption for the prerequisite you're going to have. So first thing is it just assumes that you install Minikube. While you can install other um, Kubernetes platform in different environment like you know AWS, Azure, or uh, OpenStack or other platform, this video or demo was created in such a way that you're using Minikube. You can follow the website link here 
and download it and there's instruction on how to install that. This video also assumes that you install QBCTL, which is um, CLI to interact with the Kubernetes platform, meaning Kube. So here's a link to do that, link to follow and download and install. Lastly, you it's better recommended that you install the memory uh, for the mini cube to at least four gigabyte. So you usually allocate more. I can usually allocate up to like nine gig. That'd be pretty flexible enough. Because if you learn like something other than like Fedora or Zeros, which is your same video, you need something more than four gigabyte. But at minimum, you need to allocate at least four gig. But then here is a command to, for for that. Step one, you wanna download the Qvert operator and install it. So you go to github.com slash Qvert slash Qvert slash Lysis. That's gonna be the, the website. So then from there we can get the, the latest the the lease version and we wanna store into the Qvert as by exporting it. So then we want to download the Qvert um, operator. It's going to be Yammer file. And then here's the URL. It's github.com slash Qvert slash Qvert leases slash download. And then Qvert version that we created earlier is by exporting it slash Qvert hyphen operator dot yaml. So we're going to use the wget in this to download it. And we can explore the the file. Again, you can see this is the operator definition. So like a Kubernetes provider operator, which is a kind of like a life cycle management for application, is a kind of new to recover Kubernetes, but you can basically use that. And that in this case, Qvert has operator to manage life cycle for the virtual machine management, things like that. So and policy and many other things. You can explore further by opening the file that you downloaded and explore further with that. It's pretty cool. Then we want to apply the file. Well, we want to make sure that we have status running first. So then we want to apply by using kubectl apply hyphen f and the yaml file. We already installed, so we don't need to do that for, for me but you can use learn use this command. So, and we want to also enable software emulation. So it's better to use bare metal um, or the hardware emulation or hardware um, the hypervisor. We're going to use the software emulation for this demo. Um, so we're going to just create a config map. There's an easy way to do that. And this is command. And then and the hyphen n is for the namespace. That's uh, going to be a lot uh, to install Qbert. And then debug dot use emulation is true. It goes true. Basically, turn on software emulation in server hardware virtualization. So then we can explore the config map. Does have new config map? Does have that um, config that config map created inside there? You will see that the value there. Step three: We want to download the install Qvert. So here's the URL where you can see. It's the same URL, except that we want to replace the, the last with the Qvert hyphen CR, the YAML. So that's the location for the Qvert definition to install the virtual machines. And then we can see that this is pretty, um, we can explore also using this uh, YAML, YAML file. Then after you download it, we can apply the file to deploy Qbert. 
So then you can also use a create instead of apply. That's what the error is for. And then once it while we can check the status for the learning part, it should be all turned into learning status. So we we'll wait for a while and then see that it's gonna be bring up the pot. It's gonna be namespace cubert. So it's all up, up and running. It's good. Step four, we're gonna down and set first CTL. So here's the URL where it can go and this general GitHub URL for the Qvert. And then go, we'll go to leases, which is on the right side, as you can see. Click that. And then you will see different version here. The one we are interested in is we are gonna look at the asset, asset, assets, and then we're gonna expand that link. You will see that there's where you say um, for CTL for different version. So we're gonna click and download it. And then once you download it, we want to export the path where you download it. And then I'm gonna use a bash RC and then create a first CTL path. And then we gonna export in the R path. So when you do this, usually when you have to use a source um, bash RC in the Mac, but this will help you just uh, uh, add the path and the next time you're gonna recognize it. So once you set everything in the bash RC, we're gonna just type first CTL, which should bring up the different command. And then you can do QVCTL get VM. Right now we don't have any VM, so we're gonna download it and then apply next. Step five, we wanna download the sample virtual uh, machine file. So this is a URL, as you can see. So it's kind of long URL, so you can just type it. You can also create your own virtual machine definition, but this is a sample file we provide. So it's a low github user content.com slash cubert slash cubert.github.io master slash labs slash manifest slash vm.yaml. So here's a virtual machine definition. So here's some of the things that I want to explain. So domain specify like disk type of you know different you know persons and volume. Interface refers to network and resource request memory. If you change that, it will increase the virtual machine memory value. And then there's a network definitions and volume. A lot of things you see here is going to be explained in the Qbert official website. So please go and check it out. Step six, we're gonna deploy, finally deploy the VM with the YAML file. So it's the same command as before, and but that's just the, the VM.yaml, and then it's created already. By default, it's not gonna run as it is. And then, so when you run a cat VM, you will see not seeing information about learning or anything like that. So virtual machine EVMI is for bunch of many instances and you're not see anything at all because there's nothing running right now. So we wanna start the virtual machine by saying that virtual CTL star test VM, which is name we created. Then we're gonna get the VM and then we get VMI. Now you see the learning instance of the virtual machines. So now we can connect to the virtual machine using virtual CTL console and test VM. So this will bring into the zeros, which it was of the VM we downloaded. Again, you see that it's booting. So then is the zeros is a very minimal version of Linux. We can just log in. It provides username and the password. So you type it. And we are inside the read zeros Linux, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, you can also use a uh, you know Rail, Fedora, Ubuntu, anything like that. Print or Windows, even like a lot of things you can explore. But this is pretty much interesting ways to definitely to check out. So that's it. Thank you for watching. 
and then hopefully this video helps to understand how powerful QWERTY can be. It basically provides you a way to provision and manage virtual machine on top of a Kubernetes platform. So you can learn both container and virtual machine. That's awesome. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll see more technology oriented videos and learning education, not just about cloud, but anything like programming, coding, and maintaining in general. So thanks for watching again, and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.